Kathleen Wynn. Thank you very much, Fran, and it, uh, it's a great honor to be here. And really, truly, I am, uh, I am here on behalf of every member of the legislature, and I want to recognize the people who are in the, uh, the audience who are members. I see Reza Mariti, uh, Helena Jassa, Christina Martins, I see David Zimmer, I see Jim Wilson, Gila Marteau, and if I missed anybody, I'm sure I will hear about it. But, um, oh, Mitzi Hunter, sorry. Um, but truly, I, uh, I am here expressing a sentiment and representing everyone in the legislature who, um, who I know was honored to hear Monty Quinter speak uh, today. Thank you very much, Monty. And uh, um, uh, Eric Hoskins, thank you very much for being here with me. It's a great privilege to be with you here today as we recognize 12 outstanding people. Irving and his brother Sam. I don't, I haven't met everybody, so I don't know who I am speaking. Um, but uh, Jan and Gita, uh, Dave, Max, Lori, Martin, George Landisman and George Stern, uh, Manny and Norman. And I believe Sam is being recognized as well, but Sam couldn't be here. Um, Nobel laureate, human rights advocate, and Holocaust survivor Ellie Wiesel said, the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. The opposite of art is not ugliness, it's indifference. The opposite of faith is not heresy, it's indifference. And the opposite of life is not death, it's indifference. Your lives and your stories work against indifference in all its forms. I use the word work deliberately because it takes great effort and vigilance to fight against indifference. We all share in that work. And together, we've made real gains, but there still exists a hate that seeks to undermine the humanity of others. There are people being devalued for who they are, what they worship, and who they love. Hate will seek validation in the hateful, but from those indifferent to suffering, hate is given tacit permission to persist. In remembering your stories, the stories of the life you live and the life you built, you take away that permission. You remove indifference, because it is impossible to hear you and your story and be indifferent. That's a very powerful thing. And through organizations such as the Canadian Society for Yad Vashem, the stories of the people in this room can be amplified and can reach farther. They are working to ensure that we never forget, that indifference will never have the chance to triumph. My colleagues are going to share with us some of your stories. I would say that each of you has two stories to tell us. One is a harrowing story of tremendous pain and immeasurable loss. But there's another story. It's a story of the incredible strength of the human spirit, of hope's perseverance overall. Today we recognize both stories. We honor the first and we celebrate the second. We honor our survivors by keeping their stories alive in our hearts, by never forgetting the atrocities that you suffered. We listen to your experiences and we carry those experiences with us so that you can be assured they will never be forgotten. All those who have been touched by the Holocaust have shown us that hope is a light that shines even through our darkest moments. But that hope has shone throughout your entire lives. Each of you has used that hope to build something where there was nothing. Whether it was a butcher shop, a children's toy company, a skyscraper, or a home surrounded by trees, your accomplishments are profound because of where they began. And when we see your efforts to give back, to build not just for yourself and your family, but for your community, it makes your accomplishments all the more profound. It's hard to comprehend, but we must endeavor toward empathy because there's a rich reward for understanding what you have given us. And it is worthy of celebration. So thank you to the Canadian Society of Yad Vashem for ensuring that the people in this, in this room receive the recognition that they deserve. And thank you for all the work that you do in honoring the lives and memories of our survivors. And to our friends being honored today, thank you for making Ontario your home. The contributions that you make to your communities in this province make us stronger, make us better, and help us never to forget. Thank you very much. We'll see you.